Hello guys, so we are at the Zipline Ominakun station and I mean I've been writing about Zipline technology since they came to Ghana and how they are impacting in the health space. Today I'm here to experience how they operate and really get a first-hand experience of how this amazing technology is changing lives in Ghana. Zipline's drones deliver blood, platelets, frozen plasma and cryoprecipitates along with medical products including vaccines, infusions and common medical commodities. The distribution process involves a well laid out channel starting from receiving orders to picking up products and loading products into drone for takeoff. Shemao Muniru, community lead at the center, took me through the process. The call comes in through our 3CX platform, which is like our call triaging platform. And what happens is that um, the um, order taker for the day enters the orders into our fulfillment system. This is how it works. Once the order is made, the process moves into the supply center where all the products are stored under the required conditions. The products are packed into a special box with the required weight for optimum flight and landing. Our boxes drop from about 10 to 15 meters above the ground. We need to make sure that the contents are safe. So that's why this box has been designed in that way. It has a parachute. What it does is collect air when it is deployed so that it can drop gently from the sky down. Um, then the box also has an air inset. It helps with uh, buoyancy and serves as a shock absorber. A zipline flight operator then packs the medical products into a drone and performs pre-flight checks. The drone is then launched with a supercapacitor-powered electricity catapult launcher. The drone then flies itself to its delivery site where a remote pilot distribution center monitors all the drones in flight. The drone descends to 20 to 35 meters before dropping the package under a paper parachute. After the delivery, the drone then returns to the distribution center and lands by catching an arresting gear. Kwesi Owusu-Entry, Client Success Manager, puts the operations of Zipline into perspective. We have six distribution centers scattered across the country. And from these six distribution centers, we serve um, approximately 2,000 facilities scattered across the country. 50 to 60% of these facilities are located in very hard to reach areas. It is usually very difficult for people to appreciate how hard to reach a facility can be in Ghana but I'm talking about facilities located on islands, completely surrounded by water, facilities on very high mountains, very difficult to access using roads, um, fa facilities that don't even have roads accessing them. So these are the kinds of facilities that we normally would deliver to. In terms of impact, you realize that for these facilities, it is usually very expensive or, in, in fact, impossible just to reach them using ground logistics. So zip line coming on board to deliver items to facilities in these communities using drones has helped to generally improve access to medications in some of these rural areas. So you have fewer incidents where when you walk into a facility in a rural area you have you know a complaint of a, um, an anti-malarial being out of stock or a normal medication that we take for granted in Accra like um, paracetamol being out of stock. So that's one of the um, impacts that we've had in rural healthcare. But beyond that is also the aspect where we've actually helped in improving emergency response systems. So um, because we have blood products and anti-snake and anti-rabies and other critical medicines centralized here, we've been able to um, put together a system where when a mother is rushed or when a pregnant woman is rushed to a facility in need of blood, we are able to dispatch using drones and um, blood products that would help save the mother's life. In the same instance, when you have a child bitten by a snake or a dog that hasn't been 
vaccinated against rabies. You'd have zipline drones also delivering anti-rabies and anti-snake medications to facilities in need of it. So um, in instances such as this, every second is vital. So with our drones being very quick and very fast in the air, we are able to deliver in record time and help save the lives of patients in such sticky situations. In the area of vaccines, we've been able to help the Ghana Health Service and the Ministry of Health expand coverage when it comes to immunization and also vaccines um, in rural areas. So a lot of people have misconceptions around the reason why drones should be used to deliver vaccines because people feel vaccines are free, so it doesn't make sense for us to use drones to deliver them. But you'd also realize that the disadvantages of not delivering or the disadvantages of not improving access to vaccines is, is very, very high in the sense that when children are not vaccinated, you have them being more susceptible to diseases like um, diarrhea, meningitis, pneumonia, polio. And if children are not vaccinated, it has implications on the cost that the healthcare system will bear. Because when you suffer from these um, diseases, healthcare system has to find a way of you know, paying for um, the treatment of such children. So with Zipline collaborating with the Ministry of Health, what we've done is that we've been able to improve access to vaccines in some of these rural areas. We have fewer incidences where children are missing their vaccination clinic schedules. We have also fewer incidences where um, facilities are running out of stock when it comes to vaccines. And this has helped generally to help um, um, improve the numbers as far as um, um, vaccination of children um, um, is concerned. We've also gone beyond just um, delivering routine vaccines to also supporting the Ministry of Health in the distribution of COVID-19 vaccines. So as we speak, um, since 2020 when COVID struck, um, we've been able to deliver close to 3 million, 3 million doses of um, COVID-19 vaccines to rural areas that we serve within our distribution center radius. Thank you.